Holy moly. Look at them come out. <laughs> yes. That is so cool. Ah, oh, I'm loving this. 45 colonists. Hey, welcome to another episode of Colony Survival. If you're excited, hit that like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. I'll be doing Colony Survival every single day. A video at 3 p.m. Central Time and a live stream at 9.30 Central Time. So if you're excited for that, hit that subscribe button. Today we are going to build our colony up so massive. I have 2,000 food. I have 155 food per day getting used, so I can use a lot. We also just got a new technology just happened. So the new technology I just got is banner radius expansion. Now I have 40 blocks, which means we can actually start moving all of these farms and stuff outside the wall because let me show you the radius used to be right here it ended like right here halfway now it's expanded we have all this room around this whole entire wall oh i am so excited i get to finally move the farms out of there so actually putting more buildings in also in the live stream i got this little tower done oh i think it looks so cool with that double tower like that and these sloping walls oh i'm so pumped i am so pumped about this season we get to start building massive temples massive statues there's another thing i want to build and that's a greek theater and i want to put it outside this wall i'm not sure where or anything comment down below where you think i should put that should I put it on a hill or should I put it outside of this wall? I'd like to know. We also in the live stream, I'm just giving you some recap of what we have done, is we built this building. We got this building basically finished at this point. I still need to get the columns all the way around. But this side is pretty much the finished product. I'm actually pretty happy about it. I am pretty happy about it. Yeah, right here, I has a little touch of light. You can see with the little torches. A little opening right here also uh, comment down below is there anything else I can add to this to add more depth to it because I've been trying to add little things here and there like add some of these blocks around this the entrance add a little window adding little dimensions on the side like right here is there anything else you think I should do comment down below I would love to hear your suggestion about it but what I said in the beginning is that we're going to build a colony so huge. So one thing I need more than anything else is beds. So let's get some beds. Let's make a ton of beds. Let's see. We got 46 copper nails. Oh, we're going to need so much more. Give me all that copper. We're turning all these into copper nails. That is what's happening. All of them. We need beds. We need lots of beds. I mean, I need a ton. Here we go. See how many beds I can make now. So I got the straw. I need the planks. Here we go. And boom. 23. Really? Only 23? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? I got so pumped about making all these beds and I make 23. Oh, that was anticlimactic. That was anticlimactic. I didn't want that. I wanted more beds. Uh, all this place is going to fit so many beds. What this building is for is to sleep. And that is what we're going to get. Making it, all these beds fitting in here. Back to back. But make it look kind of realistic. Even though we're making like this. I don't know. Massive king size bed. that the Community bed that everybody sleeps in. I think it's so funny. I'm just getting them all sleep together. Like little buds. Like hey. <laughs> I think it's so funny. So let's get down here. We have 55 beds. 31 colonists let's get our let's see here let's get these guys let's get the guards up let's get them going let's get so many of them it would be unreal let me get some light so you can see what is going on getting up here going up and i'm going to put so many more of the archers because i am going to make this place impenetrable no zombie is ever going to touch even the gateway Oh, I have some exciting plans for the gateway, too. And I think... Do I have any blocks for it? Did I build the blocks? Uh, I don't think I have. 
Well, that would be later on. I don't need it right now. It's not that much of a priority. So let's get some nighttime guards. Let's see here. Nighttime bows. Let's set you up. Put you here. Actually, do they have enough view? Oh, yeah, they have plenty of view. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five, and six. I'll just fill all that up. So let's go to this one. And we're going to do the exact same thing. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That is 12 columns, which is straight up higher than right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Come out here and defend my place, please. I have two jobs that are still needing bows. That is fine. Watch them come out. Watch you pour in like an army. <laughs> here they come. Oh, that is so awesome. That's gonna look so cool up there too. We're gonna get. I want to check that. Oh, there's a there's a zombie that got in here. What is that about? Ooh. That's why I needed more archers. That's why I added a ton more archers. Let's look at them. Let's look at the beauty of this tower that's starting to come out. So nice. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, that looks so cool. All these guys just hanging out. All of them. Every single one of them is hanging out with me. So I'm thinking putting the farms out right in front of the gate. So if the people come, like the zombies come in, they uh, my archers can defend them. So I'm going to put a ton of wheat farms. I'm just going to lay them out from right here all the way over. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add wheat farms from all the way over here. I'm going to fill in the new expansion I have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to do seven by whatever it's going to be to fill it in. And it's not going to be exactly ratio right now, but it will work. It will be fine. They don't have to have exactly 10 by 10s. Wait a minute. I didn't hire anybody to start getting these wheat farms. Do they move on to other wheat farms now? Is that an update? So if they are finished here, do they move on to the next spot? Oh, if it, that's not an update yet, that should so happen. Take over like multiple farms. That would be so epic. Where did they come from? Where are they? Oh, I think those are the two extra guards that did not have their bows. So they decided to become farmers. Okay. Well, that would be a really cool idea for the developers to get going. If we get an update where they can go to different farms. So if they're done and they're walking around and the, the, they don't get any wheat, which they do like every other day, they can go to a different farm plot and go to that one. That'd be a really cool idea. That would be really awesome. So what I want to do is I want to hire another two guys to get these farms ready and up and going. We have plenty of food. We have 1,200 still even after this. So they should be getting their farms ready. These guys should be leaving. I think so. We have negative two. Yes, yeah, so that's holy moly. Look at them come out. <laughs> yes. That is so cool. Ah, oh, I'm loving this. 45 colonists. Are you kidding me? 45 colonists? Ah, oh, I'm loving it. I am loving it. Y'all probably have bigger colonists than I am right now, but I am loving this. So I'm going to eventually put a tower here. And I think I need to finish this part of the wall to, to put more farms that way but this is the beginning I mean look at this look at this site that looks so good that looks so awesome so with the increasing food amount I can afford those archers I just built a ton of those I can finally get rid of all of these plots and that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna get rid of all of these plots so I can finally start getting these walls done in the inside and start getting uh, some buildings here because these farms were just temporary. They were not meant to be anything permanent. So I'm going to get rid of these and I will be back. Okay, welcome back. One thing I forgot to do is get the scientists to actually go for another technology. So what technology should we go next? So we could do crossbow bolts now. Oh, that is so awesome. We start getting going with that. That would be really cool. We can also do regeneration speed 1 and regeneration increase 1. 
But I don't want to do that yet. I don't think that's really a high priority for me because that's just personally for me to keep my health up. So I'm thinking, let's get to that finery for forge. I already gotten seven of those done. So I just need to get this done and over with. So I can start getting steel. So I can start making, I'm assuming, crossbows and stuff like that. I don't know. The thing I did while I was getting everything ready was I cleared all of this farms. So now we have this good clean slate. So I'm putting buildings down. I start getting this wall finished with this tower. Oh, I'm so pumped. I'm so ready to finally get another, all these other buildings done. So I can start filling these walls in. Another thing I want to finish is getting this building finished going. I'm also going to put a statue. I got a some suggestion to put a statue up here. Comment down below. What kind of statue should I build here? Should I build like a person or should I build something else? Comment down below. Give me some suggestions. I love to hear it. And also, since there's a lot more traffic here, I like to name this city. Give it a name. I will pick a name out of the names you give me and we're going to do these for about a few episodes and a few live streams so i can get, really get some opinions on different names because i like to name this place i like to give a this place to you whenever i finish this season so you have a safe file you can play on here and i like to give it a name i like for y'all to name it i would love that but i think that's it for this episode i'm sorry if it is a little shorter but if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. And if you're in this video up to this point, hit the subscribe button. There's going to be Colin Survival every single day, a video out at 3 p.m. Central Time, and a live stream at 9.30 Central Time. Join our Cold Brand Nation, and I'll see you tomorrow.